free agency is finally starting to heat up another big player officially off the board no this is not the Juan Soto video this is the video about Jung Hoo Lee the KBO superstar from the Kiwoom Heroes who just signed a six-year 113 million dollar contract to play for the San Francisco Giants there's a lot that you probably don't know about this guy so this will be a good video for you to watch because I'm not only going to tell you my thoughts and opinions of what I think of Jung Hoo Lee as a player but how I think he's going to fare for the San Francisco Giants give you as much information as I possibly can can because again this is a relatively unknown player who's got a lot of hype just got paid a ton of money 113 million dollars from the Giants is not a cheap contract by any means let's find out if this guy's gonna be worth it how he projects and learn about maybe the next superstar in baseball coming from Korea so what you need to know about Jung Hoo Lee he's gonna play the outfield he probably will play center field but last year he was held to I think like only 86 games or 90 something games because he ended up hurting his ankle which affected his speed and his ability to play center field so theoretically he might not be a center fielder right off the rip with the Giants depends how that ankle feels but when you're projecting him looking forward that's what you want to see you want to see Jung Ho Lee in center field for the Giants because that's where his value is going to be very good defensive outfielder plus glove out there pretty good arm as well very athletic and again it was a little bit tough to judge because of course that ankle was hurt last season he's 25 years old so you are getting this guy right in the beginning of his prime like ages 25 to 30 are going to be the best years of his career and for the Giants giving him that six-year contract you're controlling those best years along with getting the 31 one year old season which is still relatively in their prime fun fact about Jung Hooli actually born in Japan but played for Team Korea in the World Baseball Classic played in the KBO and he has been one of the better players in the KBO the last few seasons Jung Hooli kind of broke out as a 21 year old with the Kiwoom Heroes during the COVID year which a lot of you probably remember because we were all watching the KBO during COVID because it was the only baseball on I don't know about you but I was waking up at five o'clock in the morning to watch any sort of baseball and Jung Hooli was one of the guys who stood out for sure in that COVID season as a 21 year old 15 homers 49 doubles, 5 triples, 101 RBIs with 12 stolen bases, hitting 333 with a 397 on base, 524 slugging, and a 921 OPS. He continued to get better the next two years, by far having the best season of his career in 2022, where he hit 23 homers, 36 doubles, 10 triples, and 113 RBIs, hitting 349 with a 421 on base, 575 slugging, and a 996 OPS. So what does this all mean? Well, in that season, the 23 home runs is by far a career high for Jung Hoo Lee. Besides that, he's only hit double digits home runs once in his career, and that was during the COVID season with 15. So the power is still in question as to how real is it at the major league level. Well, shout out to Eno Saris. You guys should follow him. Writes for The Athletic. Awesome dude. Like one of the smartest guys in baseball who makes baseball content in terms of writing and podcasts. Looking at what he was able to do in 2020 in the KBO for the Kiwoom Heroes. Granted, probably hitting the ball a little bit harder now. Just a little bit older, a little bit stronger. He comped him to Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan, good player, but they have similar max exit velos around like that 107 to 110 range. Average exit velo range is from around 87 to 89. He puts the ball in the air a little bit more than a guy like Brendan Donovan, which could help him with the power in that department, of course. But at the end of the day, you're looking at Jung Hoo Lee as a very high contact player. Like, he just straight up doesn't swing and miss. In his time in the KBO, this is a guy who was rocking a below 10% K rate. And he's going to get on base a ton because his walk rate at the time was close to 10% for his career in the KBO. So he's going to hit for average. He's going to get on base. The power department, that's what scares me the most about a guy like Jung Hoo Lee. Everything else, not worried. Like, his ability to put the bat on the ball, his ability to make contact, good eye at the plate, very patient, very disciplined. That's something that I don't think is going to go away. Yes, the quality of pitching is way better in Major League Baseball. KBO is below the MPB in terms of talent. Like, they're not 4A clear cut. It is more like a double A, triple A league in sense of like the kind of caliber of pitching that you're seeing there. But he has absolutely dominated at an elite level that makes you think he's very qualified to be at the Major League level. And that being said, going to the Giants, we've seen them get a ton out of a lot of just random players recently developed these guys into very very quality good players for their team and a guy like Jung Hoo Lee especially when they're giving him six years 113 million makes me think that they see something that maybe we don't know about from behind the scenes at home that they can maybe tap a little bit more power potential out of him because he's not necessarily small but he's also not big like he's six foot 180 pounds essentially I don't know what the ceiling is for a guy of that size to really just all of a sudden develop power at age 25 but he does have a really really nice left-handed swing there are videos of him hitting home runs he crushes baseball at times like there's no doubt it's just we've seen now a bunch of players come over from the KBO and the power numbers just don't really stick as much going from the KBO to Major League Baseball like we saw Jung Oh Gong have a 40 home run season in the KBO he maxed out at 21 in the majors while Ha Sung Kim is low-key turned into one of the better second basemen in Major League Baseball we saw him hit 30 home runs in his final year in the KBO came over to the United States he's hit a max of 17 still very good player but obviously the power just didn't translate as much as it did from that league so there's definitely like a grain of salt that 
that needs to be taken with how hype we're going to get on Jung Hoo Lee. Like, do I think he has the ability to be one of the best center fielders in baseball? I'm not going to count him out by any means. That would be stupid because he does a lot of things at an elite level that all he has to do is make some tweaks here and there, and you're looking at a player who could be sick. That being said, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to all of a sudden hit for a ton of power and then not swing and miss and still be as patient as he is. There will be adjustments that have to be made. But honestly, if you're a Giants fan, I would trust that. The Giants have done a really, really good job, as I mentioned earlier, of developing these players and learning their swing paths, learning the pitches to take. I mean, Lamont Wade puts up like a 120 WRC plus the last two years, a guy that was basically for free from the Minnesota Twins. So if they can do that with a guy like Lamont Wade, I'm really excited to see what they can do with Jung Hoo Lee, who already is going to be an on-base machine, never going to strike out, and has shown pop in that bat. He looks like more of a gaps hitter, which I love. I think this guy is going to be a very good player. I think he's going to be very capable. Again, anything that you hear on the negative side of me is not trying to be a hater. I'm just trying to temper expectations a little bit because there are a lot of people online who are gassing this up a little bit more than it should be. He's a very good player. I expect him to be very valuable with this Giants team. I'm just saying, like, expect a gap hitter rather rather than a guy who's going to hit for a ton of power because it just doesn't really profile that way. Especially when we talk about Oracle Park, which I think was like fifth worst in ballpark factor for home runs this past season for left-handed hitters. For a guy who has a hard time necessarily elevating the ball and hitting it far and hard, that doesn't play great, especially, you know, with the Bay blowing it in as well from right field. A lot of balls that might have been home runs in the KBO now are going to be caught or hit off the wall. Like, it's just going to change a little bit. But that elite contact ability, that elite eye at the plate, the fact that he never swings and misses, the fact that he's shown success pretty much his entire Higher career. Jung Hoo Lee is going to be a good player. It's now about finding out the ceiling. I think in terms of floor, the floor is relatively high. Like you are getting at the absolute worst, a very, very serviceable major league center fielder who has the ability to get on base and be a top of the order guy where the big bats can drive him in and generate runs, play good center field. The ceiling is what is in question. How great can he be? Not how good can he be? How great can he be? And that's where the lack of power does scare me a little bit. But this could be a huge move for the KBO. Just the fact that he got six years, $113 million, massive for a league like the KBO. I think MLB trade rumors predicted he was going to get five for 50. Doubled that. Doubled that and only added one year. Of course, they're not the end-all be-all for predictions and who's going to get what. But the idea that a player like Jung Hoo Lee, who doesn't hit for a ton of power, just got paid $113 million without ever stepping foot on American soil to play in Major League Baseball, even in the minor leagues, is pretty huge for that league. You're going to start to see more and more players from the KBO come over at this age, 24, 25 years old, like we've seen now from guys like Ha Sung Kim and Jung Hoo Lee. And now with guys like Ha Sung Kim playing so well, being successful at the offensive side of the game, it only makes that league more and more legitimate, which is great for baseball, great for the world, great for Korea. Overall, I think this is a good sign for the Giants. What it tells me is that Cody Bellinger probably wanted a lot more money, and honestly, probably is going to get a lot more money. He is a better player right now than Jung Hoo Lee, but at six years, $113 million, that comes out to what? Pull out the calculator here. Haven't used my math brain in a minute. Just under $19 million a year. Guys who are getting paid similar amounts of money per year to Jung Hoo Lee. You're looking at like Masataki Yoshida is getting similar, Michael Conforto, Andrew Benintendi, Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber, Brandon Nimmo, Starling Marte. Like, that spot actually makes a lot of sense and could end up actually being a really good deal. Like Ian Happ gets 21 million, doesn't play center field. George Springer at age 34 is getting 24 and a half million dollars. He plays right field now. Chris Bryant gets 28 million. Like those players have had different peaks than we've seen of Jung Hoo Lee, who again is still relatively unproven. But the fact of the matter is that price point, you're feeling pretty good as a San Francisco Giants fan, taking that risk, not your money at the end of the day too. The owners are paying it like good, good for baseball. But it's really hard to find quality center fielders for anything cheaper. And if the Giants are spending that money a smart organization i'd have faith in the fact that they believe in jung hoo lee a lot i'd love to know what you guys think about jung hoo lee down in the comment section below give me some predictions if somebody predicts like his season or a slash line correct in the comment section below i will buy you a jung hoo lee jersey at the end of the season and ship it to you for free so go ahead and start throwing your predictions in the comments letting me know what you think his slash line is going to be of course that's batting average on base and slugging subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content we are two days away from the 12 days of mlb ranking starting which is going to be december 14th so keep an eye out for that as long as there's no major moves coming out I will get you the Juan Soto trade video tomorrow. Promise. It's a promise. I will do it. Just can't be any major moves coming at you. Follow me on all my social media at Mark. Links are in description. That's where I'm going to wrap it up today, guys. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload, so click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!